Hey, what's up everybody? I'm sorry if there's a random little echo and stuff like that. Uh, things are a lot, lot different than last time I posted any kind of video. I'm actually down here in a closet in my apartment recording this, not using the camera on my computer. I'm using the camera on my phone. Uh, it records way higher quality, so we're gonna see how that works. Um, Welcome back to my YouTube channel that, like normal, has been ghost for a while. Um, I, I kind of stepped away for a while to start working on a lot of new stuff, a lot of new projects. I can't tell if y'all can tell. Uh, I'm in a whole different place. There's some crazy little stuff going on up here. You can't really tell. I've really simply worked out like what's going on here I don't know we'll get to the bottom of that later on but uh I just kind of wanted to fill anybody who might be listening or paying attention to the rabbit hole in on what's been going on I I, I realized all of a sudden that a lot of the stuff I was trying to do with the rabbit hole, while had a lot of purpose, didn't have a lot of precise direction. I just knew I wanted to reach people. I, I had stuff I wanted to talk about and things I wanted to share with people. And all I knew is I wanted to reach people. And I, I, I was doing it a little bit, but I... I felt like I was missing something the whole time. And I've mentioned this a lot and I've I've talked about various things that I was gonna do to fix it. And I realized real quick that the things that I needed to do, I didn't realize it quick actually. What the fuck am I talking about? It took me a fucking year. Like the rabbit hole is, it's April. It's the end of April. The rabbit hole is a year old next month. It took me a year to kind of figure it out that the things I was missing wasn't the rabbit hole. It was my life. I wasn't doing enough with the rest of it for any of it to fucking matter. Uh, and like normal, when I, when I get to that point in my life, I take some drugs. I, I usually take acid and that's exactly what I did. I took some acid and I realized that I wasn't, I was putting way too much focus almost on the rabbit hole. And I didn't, I didn't want to sit here endlessly creating content with the hope that it was going to take off one day. Uh, I needed to do a lot more for myself and everything else, everywhere else to make all of it seem a lot more why the fuck am I doing it? You know what I mean? So here we are. And we're going to get to where we are right now. We're in a closet in my apartment. And if the echo is not too bad, hopefully most of my videos going forward will come from here. Depending on what they're about. But there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff going forward. And I'm really excited to share it. There's real content coming. Like... Like, there's real content coming. There's more behind this and everything. Not a lot. It's a little closet, man. But there's there's a lot. There's a lot coming. And I'm hoping... I'm gonna hope. I'm not gonna promise nothing. But I'm really hoping that I can keep some really good direction with it going forward. And really some purpose. Like I said. No. Was that, the, was that what I said earlier? There was a lot of purpose... But I was missing a lot of direction. I can't remember what the fuck I said. Y'all know what the fuck I mean, though. People just be saying shit out here. And as long as you get the meaning, why the fuck does any of it? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? But I'll be back in just a minute. I'm gonna explain what's been going on. So. So. Welcome, everybody, to my very small, very tiny... This is my 100% legal, <laughs> for real, it is 100% legal mushroom lab. Uh, it came out of nowhere. Um, 
air purifier, still air box, random lamp from my house, buckets of seats, all kinds of stuff. And it came, like I said, this hobby, this whole idea came from nowhere. And uh, I wanted to show y'all exactly what was going on in that closet real quick. And I will be right back. And we'll get to more of this and exactly what everything is is, is, is in a few. So give me one second. All right. So here we are facing the proper way for YouTube as well. So you don't got to watch me in that upright thing. Um, back in my mushroom lab. It's a closet. But you got to start somewhere. Uh, like I said, I know the rabbit hole bankrolls a lot of bankrolls i don't know the fuck i use that word um i know i drive a lot of content on psychedelics mushrooms lsd all that everything about this is 100 percent legal i'm mostly saying that for my own fucking sake because i personally think growing psychedelic mushrooms should be 100 percent legal but they're not so i'm not growing them uh, I would love to, but I'm not. I've chosen to, as a hobby and hopefully potentially as a side hustle and business startup, but at the moment it's just a hobby. I'm just trying to figure it out and I really enjoy it. Uh, I've started fucking around with blue oyster mushrooms. Uh... You can see here my grain spawn that is doing very well for blue oyster mushrooms. The mycelium is growing very, very good. This jar is completely, it hasn't been shaken up yet, unlike this one. Where the mycelium is much less present, you can kind of see some of it start to grow back through, but this one I shook up already um, helps distribute it. I'll get there in later videos, but it helps distribute it around so you can colonize your grain much faster. Um, but yeah, these are my blue. And there's some agar petri dishes up there. I'll get to those as well it's in this video and in future videos much more in depth. But uh, I love it. I love it. Is I've never enjoyed something so fucking much in my life, possibly other than the rabbit hole. And these are right there. So obviously I have to use this as content for the rabbit hole. I have a lot of stuff I've been doing with this that I want to share with everybody. And I'm really fucking excited. So let me show you. Let me show you the babies real quick, okay? Okay, so here we are. This is where I just keep, this is my doorbell. Legitimately, that's my doorbell. I have four jars going at the time. This is the one I showed you that was already shook up. I have to come down here really so you can see it well. You can kind of see the mycelium better now starting to grow back through. But I shook this one up already. Where there's this one. Let's come down here. There you go. This one hasn't been. That's beautiful. But, and then I have my Petri dishes here. See, this is a sample of my original culture. And you see all the growth, how it's completely colonized the whole Petri dish. So I can start taking samples off of this now and doing all kinds of awesome stuff, like making more of those jars with them. Whereas this is one of my original ones, which you can see it started to mold up a little bit. Reason I still have it is because all of this that's not contaminated is still salvageable and since it's fully colonized we'll get to this and later stuff this mold's not gonna fucking take it over like blue oyster strong these are just like clean petri dishes that i haven't done anything with that are properly dated with a four instead of a nine see here's one that's completely strong and i honestly need to get all of this in jars because you can't see it no it's not on this one hold on Hold on.
see this? See that yellow? That's not contamination. This is it wanting to start to pen and make mushrooms. Like this Petri dish is almost overgrown. I need to do stuff with it. One thing is that liquid culture. We'll get to that all in a later video. There's two types in there. I'm testing them out and you, as you can see, I can't help but talk about it and I need to just chill. I'll be right back. So as you can see, like, I, I've been busy. I got a lot of cool stuff going on and I'm really excited to share it with everybody. Um, I tried to do the rough little synopsis right there, the little uh, summary, um, and it was hard. I got rambling, um, but it's really cool to actually sit here and show you guys and talk to you guys about something I'm supremely passionate about other than just y'all so um i'm almost like a kid like, <laughs> like i'm excited so um i'll be back you know i'm gonna cut this video really really short now i'm really i love using my phone for this this is dope i've never been an iphone person in my life and this is my first iphone and the camera is way better than the phone i had before there's no limit on how long i can record uh, I can seamlessly use it for content. It's just, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. And I'm sure I'm about to find out, but I'm sure there's some kind of iCloud way I can take these videos right off my fucking computer. So, um, yeah, this is what's been going on. This is my, my, my mushroom lab, a hippie boy in his mushroom lab. So, uh, latest podcast episode that came out was me and julian rolling on molly so i'll have a link down below if you haven't heard it go check it out it's a really good podcast episode and it'd be good for you to catch up before the one year anniversary next month so i'm definitely gonna have a episode out for you next month even though i didn't really get one out in april which is crazy because of bicycle day i'm a let down but uh no, uh, I'll have a link to that down below as well as a link to all of my social media and all that good stuff. And finally, let's see. Yep, that's the direction I got to point on this phone. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Please, please hit that subscribe button. You have no clue how much that helps me out. That is the best thing you can do for me watching this video. Hit that subscribe button. And then if you're still feeling generous, go like, go comment, please. But subscribe please head over to the podcast head over to the blog great stuff there follow me on instagram i'll have all those links down below but please subscribe and i'll be back really soon with more videos i'll try to get some tutorials out some you know keep you up to date on how all this is going multiple different styles are growing i have some cultures for lion's mane and pink oyster as well that i want to get going very soon so i'm really excited to share this process with you so if you if you want to share it with me hit that subscribe button i love y'all i'll see you soon